Hello folks, I hope you're all doing well. It's been a couple of weeks since I've had a video out, but I'm back. I've been on my holidays. We've been in the south of France for the last two weeks with a little stop off in London on the way down and a couple of nights in Paris on the way back. It has been wonderful. It's been sunny. It's been 30 degrees every day. It's been lovely, which I'm led to believe has just been a little bit better than the weather here in the UK, where the, te the temperatures have been okay, but I've heard it's been raining pretty much every day and some pretty torrential downpours of that. I mean, it's, it's, it's great for the garden, the, the warm, the humidity, the rain, gets your plants on the go, but it's also terrible for the weeds. But I've not, I've not been to the allotment yet. I only got back yesterday, getting this video out there. I'll go to the allotment later on today, maybe tomorrow, checks things over, make sure everything's all right. And there'll be loads more stuff coming this month because I've got so much stuff to catch up on. So watch out for more videos coming very soon. Anyway, Seeds to Sow video this month is very much split up into two. We've got some successional sowing to be, on the, to be getting on the go. If you think about those conditions, as I said the soil is lovely and warm out there at the moment and nice and damp and wet, great to get seeds germinated. And then we've also got to, dare I say it, think about the W word and that is winter. And things that I'm gonna sow now, and the re I really need to be getting on with these, to, to be getting them ready, to be going out. We've got autumn, winter, you know, middle of July, September, October, November is gonna be on us pretty quickly. So we'll get this stuff on the go. So watch out for these in the second half of the video. Anyway, first up, successional sowing. So we've got some spring onions here. You'll get another round of spring onions on the go. This variety here is called Katana. I first mentioned these earlier in the year. I discovered these just by sheer chance in the garden center because my son likes the name of it. And they are wonderful. If you can get a hold of some of these, I highly recommend trying Katana as a, as a variety of spring onion. And let us see sort of things. I've got a couple of, couple of ones on the go here. Another one that I discovered just by chance and excuse my pronunciation from these Franchi seeds. The Franchi seeds are brilliant by the way, Italian seeds and it is Bis di Latour da Taglio or that's what it is. You'll be able to see the packet there. You'll get it better off the packet than off me and again just by chance I grew these and they've grown brilliantly this year. They've been smashing so I highly recommend giving them a try and things like Lettuce at the moment, lettuce will grow so, so, so quickly. Chuck some seed in the ground and honestly, it'll, you'll be amazed at how quickly it grows. And speaking of other lettuces on the go, this is a sort of Japanese variety here called Mizuno. A little bit, tiny little bit spicy. Lovely flavor to it. Just gives that nice contrasting flavors and mix of textures and things in salads if you have a lot of lettuce and that sort of stuff. So I like growing the different varieties. Also, to get on the go, some Asian greens there, some pak choy. Just be a little bit careful with this one with just how warm it might get. It can be prone to bolting. If it gets too warm, it bolts pretty quickly. Oh, nothing to lose. The seed's cheap enough. I got these free in a magazine. I'm going to chuck some in. Normally, I'd probably leave it another month to six weeks before I get some more pak choy in the go. I generally leave it over the, over the hot, over the summer months. But I'm going to give it a shot. We'll see how it gets on anyway. Some beetroot. It's pretty much about the last chance you'll get to sow some beetroot. This right here, I've mentioned this one before as well. This is bolt hardy. It is my favorite type of beetroot to grow. Grows brilliantly, prolific cropper, goes to a great size. But again, now is about the last time to be getting beetroot on the go to get it to a decent size for harvesting later in the year. Same goes for your carrots. It's about the end of the the sort of time when you want to be growing carrots. This particular variety here is Autumn King 2, which as the name suggests, is a great one for growing into the autumn. I've got a new container that I'm going to set up to put the carrots in for watch out for that coming in the next couple of weeks. Radish as well. Radish, radish goes great. You can go through the winter as well. But this variety here, yeah, well, you'll probably get away with growing it into August as well. I've sown it into August. But Muli, another Japanese one there. Give that a try. Lovely flavor. With the heat that's in the sun, it puts a lot of heat into the radish. So if you like your radish a little bit cooler, not quite so fiery, don't grow in the hot weather. Maybe just wait another six weeks or so again on that and then get some radish in. So onto the W word and winter and things that we're sort of thinking about growing into the colder months, into autumn and some stuff that's gonna do us well. First up is some kale and this is Nero de Toscana. I'll be, I'm maybe a little touch late 
in, in getting this on the go. But I've got a bit of a plan. I've got a new gadget coming in the next few days. So watch out for a video coming on how I'm going to get these on the go pretty quickly and accelerate their growth. So I'm going to be a little bit of catch up on it. But kale's, kale's pretty tough. It'll survive some pretty rubbish weather. So I'm not massively worried about that. So there's some cauliflower on the go. This one here is a variety called All the Year Round. I do have quite a lot of collie on the go at the plot already, but hopefully by the time it comes to harvest that, these little plants will be ready just to go on the ground and replace them. And they're a bit more hardy, a bit more resilient to that cold weather. And they'll probably last you well into sort of oh, November-ish kind of time. Depends on how, how cold it gets, but they're, a, they're pretty hardy. They're a pretty decent one. Some turnips, some purple top white globe. I've not even opened this packet yet and given it a try. Now's the perfect time to get some of these turnip seeds on the go. We'll give these ones a try for a, for once. And I've, I've got a big, I've, I've noticed the allotment, they say the other day, it must be the other week now, that I've got one bed that's completely free. So I'm going to fill it full of turnips, turnips and we'll give it a try to see how they turn out. And last but not least, we've got some broccoli, or as the fancy name on the packet calls it, Autumn Calabrese. But again, yes, brog standard, really good green sort of broccoli that'll go again. I'm, I'm pushing it time-wise with getting this on the go, but it's going to go my new gadget again. So we'll, we'll give it a try. It'll catch up in no time. And again, with the way the weather is, with the way the temperatures is, I think we can stretch this out a little bit later in the year and it'll grow okay anyway that is my selection of seeds for this month please think about subscribing liking the video give us a thumbs up leave us comments down below if anything you are starting from seed especially for crops going into the autumn and winter i'm really interested to see about that anything i'm missing you know always always improving things and getting things better as time goes on anyway thank you very much for watching folks and hopefully i will see you on the next one bye for now